from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter Hey loves, it's Flona Celine and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a flip through inside of my A5 planner and this is it right here and then at the end of the video I will be doing a giveaway on one of the most sought after planners online and they're always sold out so this is it right here I used this for a really really long time and I loved it so when it came back in stock I did pick up two to give out so make sure to stick till the end and see how you can win it. This right here is a planner from Kiki K, which I absolutely love the color of. I'm not sure if they're available at the moment, um, but everything that I talk about, or you guys will see, I will try to have links for. So let's get into it. It is a zip planner, and the zipper on here is so smooth and nice. I love the color of it. All through here, I have some journaling cards that I got from Etsy, and I will have links to everything that I can think of down in the description box below, and I'll let you guys know if they're available or not, because some of these I made myself kind of last minute, um, and I don't have them anywhere for you to download, which I do plan to do so in the future, but for right now, I just kind of did this on my own last night, and I love how it turned out. So over here, we have some journaling cards, this is an authenticity card from one of my purses, and I just love the way that it looks. I just have it out here. And then we have these washi tapes are from my favorite washi tape store, of course, Simply Gilded. And then we have a bunch of like different stickers from my sticker shop, planwithbluna.com. So I have those in here. And I also have these stickers right here from one of the subscription boxes that I'm subscribed to. And it is from the Planner Society. So these are really pretty and I love all the neutral colors. So I just have that in here. There is a zipper in here, which I haven't yet used but I think it's really handy you can put some pens in there and then we have some more stickers these I actually found at Michael's I want to say like two years ago or so and they're just really pretty they're also neutral so I kept them in there and then I made this little dashboard right here where I can put some of my favorite sticky notes from cloth and paper and so they're always handy right here on the side so I'm just going to put that back this is something that I was really proud that I actually did myself. So I just put my name on this side on this vellum sheet of paper. And then on this side I just put a nice little print and then my middle name. So my name is Belinda Selene. And Selene is actually my middle name. A lot of people think that that's my last name, but that's my middle name. On the next page we have my goals for 2020, which I put together recently. Um, some of the things that I'm looking for throughout the year. Some of the things on here is like remodel our bathroom. Um, I don't think that's going to happen this year, but maybe next year to landscape the front of our yard um, and to finish the nursery for the baby. Over here on this page, I have tasks and things that don't need to be done immediately, but are my goals for the month or for the next two months. So I don't put too much pressure on myself. It's just kind of things that I have to remind myself of doing. For example, videos that I um, that I plan to pre-film, videos that I have already filmed, I'll just cross them off, uh, PR packages that are coming within the next month, um, and just things that I have to do. So like, there are a lot of different things <laughs> mixed there, and it just kind of keeps me um, on top of things as the weeks go by, because some things cannot be done in one week or two weeks, and so I need a whole month to plan ahead. This right here is just from a scrapbook, which is so pretty. I love the rose gold on there. And then I got so excited when I got the vellum that, the vellum, am I saying that correctly? That I printed like the Louis Vuitton logo on there. I think it looks so pretty with my name. And then on the back here is a sheet from Minted Sugar, and it just says this planner belongs to, but I haven't filled it out yet. And then I have this paper clip together because this is the current month that we're on. We're in August. And these are all undated so that I can just fill them out. So these are just previous months that I have on there. So nothing special. I just have this clip together so that I can turn right into it when I need to. And then I have blank pages here in the back. And then we have this tab right here. I found these tab dividers 
on cloth and paper. You guys will see a lot of different inserts from cloth and paper. I just love, love, love their shop. And they're also a small business with some really great people. I've had the pleasure of meeting the owners and they're great people. On this tab, I do have Via projects. So these are projects that I'm currently working on. Once again, I feel a little bit vulnerable <laughs> sharing this with you guys because no one really knows what we're doing when it comes to like our home and I like to keep things more of a surprise until I know that things are going to happen within our household, then I'll talk about them. I just don't want to cry wolf. I just don't want to say, oh, we're doing this and this to our house and then it just never happens. Um, so what I like to do is I just like talk about things that we're going to do to our home or anything like that with Ricardo and then we'll get a plan together. So you guys are looking into, um, so you guys are getting a closer look at what we're working on and these are just like our projects right now and the project that I have currently going on is landscaping our front yard. So I made these inserts myself. I just put like the title of what's going on and then also the company's name, the company's email, the phone number, the estimated cost and start and finish by so we can get different estimates as different landscapers come and we can get just different prices. So this is my vision board and what I hope for it to look like. You can't tell because it's kind of zoomed out but we do want the front to have a lot more um, like bushes and trees and things going on so if you take a closer look you can see a little bit better and then on the other side I have a vision board of the specific things that I want so I just went ahead and I found images of what I want in our front yard so that way when they come I can give them a better understanding of what it's going to be like and then I just made extra inserts over here I have like the task or the item so for example um, if I want like the black stones like I can put in here uh, black stones, the amount, and then how much it is. Um, so that way I can keep better track of everything. And I made several of these uh, for future estimates and other projects. This scrap of paper is from the Planner Society and I just love the way that it looks. It's so pretty. And on this side we have brand sponsorships, which I often get so many questions about and how I keep everything organized. So I just made this myself. I just got the scrap sheet of paper and then I printed it on there myself. This insert right here is from Cloth and Paper and this is a Media Content Manager insert which I really really like and on top of here I just have the brand that I'm working with, how much that sponsorship is going to be and then I have the content overview of what I need to submit or what the project is about. Um, so I just go ahead and I write things down and then if I have to do things by a certain timeline or they give me a specific time then I, I'll go ahead and I'll I'll break it down but some of these were kind of easy and I didn't need to remind myself of what they were so let me show you guys an example of this so this was like a bundle that I did a collaboration with different apps but it was all from uh, the same agency so I just went ahead and I broke down which ones and I used my highlighters which are right here these are from Tom and Bo and I have a link for them from Amazon that is the uh, least expensive I found them for this next tab right here is lists and this is just how I keep track of my PR collaborations. So not necessarily things that I get paid for like sponsorships but these are just collaborations with brands that I personally love and use and then they'll either reach out to me or I'll reach out to them and see if we can work together in any kind of way. So I do have um, some brands that I'm working with um, and then just some lists on there. So these inserts are also from cloth and paper. We have August here on top and I like to insert one month at a time so that this doesn't get too bulky. And I'm gonna show you guys what my monthly slash daily spreads look like because I noticed that before I was using a week on two sheets and there just wasn't enough room for me to write everything down. So now I started doing daily spreads um, and that has helped me out a lot. So since we are in August, these are just things that I need to do for the month that I could easily check off. I try to give myself a good amount of time in between to do things, to get things done. I recently made this page because there are things that I like to check off and keep track of during the month for my social media platforms. So we have YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and my blog. And I'll share with you guys a few things. For example, on my YouTube channel, every single time that I upload, I want to make sure that I'm sharing the video on Instagram stories, on Pinterest, on an Instagram post, 
um, on my Twitter with a thumbnail on Facebook and if I have time, a blog post on it. Then we have Pinterest and once a month I want to make sure that I sit down and I pin all of my posts from Instagram onto my Pinterest just because that way you could recycle your content. So if you take a picture, it's a really great picture. I want to put it in other social media platforms so it does get the attention that it needs. And then for example on Facebook, I like to go in and answer messages that I get. Um, comment back on whatever posts I have and then also like host a giveaway at least once a month. Then we have Instagram um, to update my highlight links and my highlight uh, reels when it comes to um, any links that you guys are asking for. Um, host a giveaway like once a month, uh, collaborate with other influencers once a month and then on my blog I want to at least put up one blog post and also highlight a YouTube video in one of my blog posts. So those are my monthly tasks that I can look over because with social media, it can get so hard to keep track of everything. So that's something that I really enjoy. And then these are my daily spreads. So it's one day per sheet, which has been really helpful. As you can tell, sometimes I just don't write anything in there, which is totally fine. And this is just a, kind of like an overview of what it looks like. Sometimes I'll have the space for like stickers and decorating it with washi tape. It's very simple um, and I try not to be too hard on myself when I don't write in it um, because as much as I want to make this look beautiful and write in it every single day, there's just some tasks that don't need to be written down every single day. So next I have this right here as a bookmark to kind of keep track of the things that need to be done for the week. So in the front I do have things that need to be done for the month and then these are things that I need to um, get done for the week. So I'll put them in different categories like these are current campaigns that I'm working on, pictures to take, I have uh, things to do before the baby gets here, videos to edit, and videos that are pre-filmed so that way I can just cross them off as I go and it's so satisfying to get tasks done. So that's how I keep myself on track without adding too much pressure to myself. And then this is just what the week will look like. Um, if I have an appointment, I highlight it or if there's a um, specific important thing that I need to do, I will highlight it with these markers or some really cute stickers just depending on my mood, but I like to keep things very simple. Um, and these inserts are also from cloth and paper. And now let's move on over to, this is goals and ideas. So I just have notes and ideas listed here. For example, books to read. These are some of my favorite books in case I forget what they are. And it's just nice to keep track of what you're reading. Um, and then I have three books that I'm currently uh, reading at the moment. And then once I finish them, I can cross them off. If I get recommendations, I could just write them in. And that way I won't forget. I also have this on my phone, but I went ahead and I did this insert myself. Because I just wanted something that was customized for myself. Hey, right, this is a spread that I'm really, really proud of myself for doing. So I recently did this and I wanted to break down how many holiday gifts I, we need to give out or keep track of throughout the year when it comes to our family's birthdays or special events, especially because sometimes it gets close to like an anniversary or something and I don't want to plan last minute for gifts because I feel like it's so impersonable. I want to be like ahead of time and know that there's like a specific gift or holiday that I want to plan out and it just makes things so much easier. So I have just like all of my family's um, birthdays planned out and listed by month along with specific things um, that are highlighted in the gray like Valentine's Day which is something that I need to get for Ricardo, our dating anniversary, our wedding anniversary, uh, Father's Day his birthday, the baby's birthday, and then we have Halloween and Christmas. So things that I can plan ahead of time, not only for gifts, but this is also a really great way to keep track of social media. If you need to pre-plan um, social media posts ahead of time or think of videos to film ahead of time, this just kind of keeps it on track, which is really nice. I made two lists in case I messed up one of them. And then this is my Christmas wish list for the baby, for Ricardo, and for myself. So that, that way throughout the year, if there's something that we really want, I can write things down. Um, and then I have here Christmas presents, the name 
um, of the person that we're going to give to, the present that they would like or what it is, the budget that we have for it, and then how much it actually came out to be. So this is a good way to like track your finances. Um, so I just have that and then I just have a bunch of like different notes in the back. In the back it's all miscellaneous um, with a bunch of like different notes. I'm constantly just writing things down. And then over here we have finances which I should probably put that Christmas wish list over here under finances. But I have a finance folder or planner that I keep track of um, but I just kind of wanted this for myself so I can look over it because I don't pick up that other planner as often. Um, I pick that other planner up like once a month or so. So I just made two copies of this. I put one in here and I put one in the other one. These are things to keep track of for the month. So for example, our finances, um, the things that I have to do every month when it comes to emails, like what to do every month just to kind of keep track of the things that I need to do that because you don't do on a daily basis, you kind of forget and sometimes the months can go by without you checking in um, our rental property. So these are all the things that I need to go over with the property manager um, and talk about so that I don't forget. For example, for the past two months, I, we've been so concentrated on the baby that we haven't gone over anything with um, our property manager, even though she does do her job in making sure that everything gets done. But it, it's important to be in communication with them. And then I have like things that are work related that I need to go over um, with my management team. And so I just keep track of that. And then this is just like a fun little insert that I made. And it is seven steps to wealth. Um, it's the baby steps from Dave Ramsey. I do really enjoy listening to the podcast. And even though we don't follow it to a T, it's just nice to keep yourself a reminder of like um, what he recommends. So it's just a little insert that I have. And then over here, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous notes. When I get on the phone and I talk to people or a conference call, I'll just keep some notes there. So that is all for my planner flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I try to keep it simple and easy and just things that I need to keep track of. Now let's get into the giveaway. So this is the planner that you will be winning. These are always sold out online and when they came back, I instantly snatched two of them so that way I can give them away to you guys. And they look very similar to the Louis Vuitton Demir Azure print. All the information on how to enter will be down in the description box below so make sure to check that out. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys next time. Muchos besos. Mwah. What was it worth? I can't take back, I can't stop feeling